I'm uh, Marco Luciani. My name is Marco Luciani. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, CPM Electronica, based in Rome, Italy. And we are manufacturers of uh, radio jammers. And uh, we have a special market uh, for anti drones. Uh, we have designed a special dome that can detect uh, at five kilometers. Uh, drone approaching to possible uh, target or goal. What we do is uh, to block the drone approaching to us having a strong radio frequency signal on these antennas. We also have different solutions like fixed system for buildings, for government uh, bases, military bases, and also we have a portable solution like this one. This is the first anti-drone pistol in the world, very compact, light, and uh, we can block a drone at uh, 500 meters, approximately. Wow. Uh, what we do is uh, to disturb the remote control frequencies, and uh, the drone will stop okay. and will not approach to us. So. If we block also the GPS signal, the drone uh, will not uh, back home, but will land slowly in the place where we block it. Or wow. if we do not block the GPS signal, it will go home. But the goal is not approaching to us. Right. So it's very light and easy to use. Uh, it's also considered a weapon, so it must be treated like a, a weapon. It's a, always a, a radio pistol. Okay. okay? Uh, what you see is a naked version because uh, usually it will be covered by a dome on a yacht. Uh, what we show here is uh, the mechanical and the electronic part. This is the drummer, these are the antennas, and this is the auto tracking system. So uh, the device will follow the drone, will detect, track, and block and disturb the drone. Okay. Uh, the radius here should be about uh, five kilometers. So, so this is. Um completely autonomous or does somebody controlling this or it should be completely automatic to avoid the headaches to the uh, operator okay it should be manually controlled okay so it, it, on let's say I have a yacht a big yacht I can I install multiple like one in each corner can I set up like a no-fly zone or I something? think that one is quite enough okay yeah okay. because the radius is uh, more than uh, the need of uh, your owner. Okay. So can I can I set up a like a, a perimeter? Yeah. For like sure. a, like let's say two important. kilometers or something. Uh, yeah. To respect the rule of uh, this uh, stringent uh, law, we have to uh, limit the range, so we can reduce the power and to make a kind of uh, uh, special shape of, of uh, protection bubble. Okay. So we can reduce the size of this uh, bubble around okay. the yacht. Okay. And that's the same for this. We okay. have also rifle version. Okay, so is this be, is this technology being uh, being used by any law enforcement or military? Yeah, actually, or? we have sold more than 250 systems so delivered already in 43 countries around the world, but mostly of our clients are militaries and uh, uh, government forces. Yeah. So, and about civilian installations? Uh, actually, the civilian installations uh, are more for uh, big yachts and uh, right. So, you have installed them on yachts. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you which yachts, but... We have in, uh, in demo some unit on yachts, yes. Okay, okay. But we have for sure to certify and uh, test the maximum radius, because uh, the issue should be the, the radius, to reduce the radius just to what the owner of the yacht needs. Okay, what we have here is a portable jammers, three bands. What we block are the remote control frequencies, and the telemetry frequencies. We can also enable or disable the global navigation system frequencies, uh, avoiding also to disturb uh, radio navigation systems. So it's a must uh, to use it properly. What about, uh, does it have any, would it have any problems with um, uh, you know, the ship systems? No. Obviously, a lot of wireless. Uh, no, it doesn't equipment. interfere any other system. Right. Because on, on a ship, the um, radars are 2.4 no. gigahertz no. and and uh, 9 gigahertz. So no, we block not not the Wi-Fi band. We block just the slide 
the slice of the band 2.4 that use it for remote controls of the drones. Okay. And the same for 5.8. Okay. So, so obviously you've tested it because you've installed it on yachts, and there's no uh, no interference. Actually, no, we have totally compatibility and uh, not susceptibility. Okay. So, so um, just going back to the yacht and, and the perimeter. If I I'm flying my my drone and I and I see a yacht and I go to film it, will it physically block? A peri is it will it just well, like like a geo fencing on on drones or will it go into the no, and then it will just it will land? It will block it. Free it. Okay. Just one second is quite enough to free it, the drone. Right. Then it will try to go home. To go okay. back home. Okay. If I jump also the global navigation system of the drone itself. Yeah. He could not go back, so he will stay in hovering for a few seconds, and then he will try to land. So okay. okay. But the goal is not approaching to us. One question is, what would one of these retailer? What's the kind of cost to buy this uh, mobile system? I give you my business card. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll, yes. link, I'll link the uh, details, your contact details, For sure. in but the video, what and then. What we have done is uh, something that. Uh, uh, Every single dealer can apply their price. Okay. All right, great. Thanks very much. Thank you.